Hello, I'm Benson. Today I want to do this uh, video recording to share with you uh, on the topic of negative ion knowledge and its benefit to us humans through NEFU negative ion clothing. I got to know NEFU in November 2013. And in January 2014, I invested in the negative ion clothing uh, for both my elderly parents who are having health issues. And during that time, I myself also are facing some health issues uh, like heavy weight, uh, overweight, about 100 kilogram, and have both my knee uh, having wearing off and need a replacement surgery. Uh, each uh, knee replacement surgery will cost me uh, Twenty-five thousand sing dollar at our R hospital. I have read about uh, our body. They have the ability. Our body cell have the ability to heal and recover or strengthen if we use negative ion clothing. So I do not. De I did not decide to do the operation uh, for the replacement of the uh, knee of both my knee. And I started first to use uh, electrode triggering to the knee. Um, just in the second day of using the electrode triggering, my pain on both my knee have subsided, and it seems better. So I continue using this uh, electrode triggering, but. Uh, a few weeks time, I realized that there is a risk that I will have to face. Is that if I happen to fall, um, have a fall, and both the knee are uh, fracture, then I have to do a replace, replacement. And hopefully, if can, if not, I have to sit, I have to use the wheelchair for the rest of my life. So um, at the same time, my friends or my ex colleague introduced me to NEFU. After going through all the understanding and learning and talk seminar, I decided to reinvest more with NEFU uh, for myself and for my family. After using two months NEFU negative ion clothing, I noticed my health have improved a lot and both my knee, uh, the pain that my knee have, uh, subside and improving without uh, doing the electrode triggering. So I have um, give out the electrode triggering and focus using more negative ion clothing and in two months of using negative ion clothing, I have uh, lose 20 kilo of my weight, even without exercising and having special diet. And also at the same time, some of my other health issues are slowly improving and some uh, major like um, high blood pressure have uh, subsided and since then have not reoccurred again. Even when I review uh, with a medical checkup with my GP, all the readings show that I am below the average, uh, not on the high side, but on the good side. So I will continue to use NEFU, uh, negative ion clothing to improve on my health. Uh, also, at the same time, NEFU uh, not just a company that uh, sell negative ion clothing to, to all the users like us. We are also a member of NEFU. And as a member of NEFU, I also have the privilege to do a NEFU business with NEFU together, NEFU company together, a global business where I'm now uh, focused and working on it. Presently, we are in a situation called circuit breaker, 
where we are extended into 1st June. And when it first started our circuit breaker, all of us have uh, things to do, uh, important issue to do is to wash our hands more often and the wearing of mouth masks. But also as time go by, we learn that um, the mouth mask issue will continue even our circuit breaker have stops. And every time if we go out, we need mouth mask. And now the mouth mask uh, demand is high and definitely the cost. What I understand that all the mouth masks that are on the market that we have, have only one function is to block the virus the PM 2.5, the germs and the bacteria. I was also wondering, how do I know uh, the virus or the PM 2.5 or the germ that the mask have blocked is really blocked or is just only uh, what everybody claim? Because um, our body, 85%, uh, we are protected from the virus, the germs, the UV light is as our skin. So we wear clothing also to protect our skin. But where is the 15% that uh, we are not being protected is actually from the mouth and our nose. So that's why the mouth mask come in to block this or this. But my concern is um, how can I understand the size of a, of a virus or a PM 2.5 or even how come the negative ion can be a benefit to human being. So I have uh, the opportunity to read through many information and through this reading of information, I'd like to share with you what I have understand about negative ion that is beneficial to our, our body and to us human. Because uh, I have to, uh, we have to understand that even the, we, we know that the pandemic COVID-19 will, will not go away so soon. It may last quite a few years from now. So I like to start on the, um, my sharing is on the PM 2.5. Because it is true that number 2.5 show me that the size of a, a, a dust particle and also show me understanding uh, the smallest particle that, that all we should know is the negative ion. Let me show you on this slide. Okay, today our topic is actually understanding negative ion and its benefit to human being. Okay, just now I say I want to know about PM 2.5. So where do PM 2.5 come from? So in this following picture, I show you is a, a long stretch of like a bar, a black color bar and three pieces like a stone. And there are some blue circle or balls uh, surrounding the black circle or the bar and some red color dots is the size of the blue color dots. So let's look at what is this black color thing. Okay, this black color uh, stretch is actually our human hair. The size is 50 micron to 70 micron. And the three pieces of stone which actually the fine beach sand that you can find along the beach, which is measuring 90 micron in diameter. So uh, let's look at the blue. The blue is actually the particle mass of 10, which is the dust, the pollen, the mold, which measure anything less than 10 micron. And the red one is actually where we are touching today, PM 2.5. PM 2.5 means the particle mass, which is the combustion particle or the organic compound 
all the methods. Okay, uh, combustion particle, maybe you know if uh, someone who has smoked and the smoke that come out from their mouth, that white color smoke is actually a many, many PM 2.5 particle in the air. Okay, so let's us go further into uh, particles or elements or compound that is smaller than PM 2.5. Okay, let's look at the thing that I know is called atoms. Atoms is the smallest. Why I say smallest? Let's see. Atoms actually is a shape like a solar system where the nucleus is the sun and the planet is all the blue color dot, which is the electrons. The nucleus consists of proton and neutrons, protons having positive charge and neutrons having a neutral charge. They are bound together and in the center of the nucleus. They are not able to move around except the electron. The electrons is able to circulate the nucleus uh, with depending on how many electrons this atom have. So in these atoms, we can see that there are uh, uh, nine electrons. The first ring, having two electrons is the max and following the second ring having eight electrons is the max okay so uh, if there's a third ring then it still will be eight electrons on the third ring because the closer ring to the nucleus it can only hold two electrons so you can see it's orbiting around a nucleus like our solar system so in order to measure the atoms, we call it the radius of the atoms, how big is the atoms, we need two identical atoms to, in order to define the atomic radius. Okay, two identical atoms. That means these two atoms must be of the same element, same type. So to measure the atoms radius, we use the term called, the measuring unit called extrom. All right, is equal to 1.02 times 10 to the power of minus 10, which is actually 1 times 0. It's actually 0. 0.00100 and 1, the size. That means it's still smaller than PM 2.5 or PM 1. But Xtrom is a very uh, unit that we never come across commonly. Now we are able to understand what is called nanometer. Nanometer is actually equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 9. So it's quite close to Xtrom. And if you want even a smaller unit, you call picometer, which is 1.0 times 10 to the power of 12, minus 12. So this is the, how they measure an atoms. Okay. So you must have two identical atoms. Then we can minus, they can find out the radius of an atoms. So an atom, if have no energy, it is called neutral atoms. What I mean by energy? Okay, by losing an electrons, it means having energy there. The atoms, the neutral atoms will become positively charged, called canton. And by gaining an electrons, the atoms become negative charged, called anion. Okay? So anion is another name, name for anion means negative charge, negative ion or negative charge ion. Okay, let's further, uh, let's further on with uh, understanding of what uh, an atom is or negative ion is. Okay, take for example here, the atoms on your left is an atom with having three electrons, all right? And it's not stable because the outer ring only have one. Where else the right atoms having shortage of one electron, which is uh, nine. Oh no, sorry, not nine. Seven, all right, the outer ring having seven, which is to have eight to be stable. So the atoms on the left, by giving up its electron to the atoms on the right, the atom on the left become positive charge. And the atom on the left gaining electrons we call negative charge. Okay, what is an atom? Okay, 
And atoms can be the element called sodium. Na means sodium and F means foreign. Sodium in a state in the states is actually 11 electrons. And foreign in its own states is having nine electrons. So under the without any energy, if you want the you want to bond the sodium and the foreign, we sodium have to give away an electrons to the foreign. By giving away an electrons, the sodium become positive charge and the foreign become negative charge. What is this word called H2O? H2O to me or to all of us, we know is water. And you are right, it's water. But what does it mean? Okay, water is everywhere on our planet and it's a reason we have organic life. It shape our mountain, cave our ocean and drive our weather. It would be logical to think that water must be only one basic element. But in reality, water is actually a chemical compound. Chemical compound of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms. It's this way. So when these three atoms, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen bond together chemically, they become water. Water is not a drop that we can see. This is something we have not seen yet. It's in the air. Have not formed a big drop of water. So if a, a drop of water, if we can see by our naked eyes, is actually made up of many, many, many atoms. Okay? So in a reservoir or a cup of water, it's actually made up of trillion, trillion of uh, H2O element, chemically combined of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. So water, do you call, do we call water a compound or molecules? In actual fact, water is not just compound, it also means molecules because chemically it bonds together of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms. All right, we can call it molecules or you call it a compound. Okay. Just now we learned about PM 2.5, that's the big one. All right, but we still cannot see by our nickel eyes. Then, for, then later we come to here, we learn understand about atoms. Atoms are the smallest element, but they need to be bond together or not bond together. So it's either it's in a positive charge or a negative charge because energy are actually electron flow. Okay, let's look at the next thing called the why I know hydrogen is one electron. Okay, so this hydrogen atoms, center is nucleus, the blue one, the big blue one. Right, and there's an electron circling around the nucleus. And then oxygen having eight electrons, nearest link, uh, nearest ring to the proton. To the nucleus is actually two atoms, which is correct, as it was said in the first place. The first ring surrounding the nucleus, they only have two electrons. The second ring, which is supposed to have the eight electrons, but over here there's only six. So, but you look carefully at the oxygen atoms, the electron on the outer ring, they are they're supposed to be paired together pair together like this or like this, but there is two electrons that are not paired together. So that is where the hydrogen electrons going to come to here, bond together in one of the electron in the oxygen, and the other hydrogen will bond to another pair of, to pair up the, both the electron that is not paired. Okay, so where can I understand how come I know hydrogen atoms is one electron, oxygen is another, having eight electrons? Okay, it is this called periodic table of element. All the name here is the chemical name of all the items, all the elements. Where else hydrogen is having one electron, you can see from here H to the power of one. Oxygen is zero, non-matter on the white color side. 
is 0 and 8. Right, then this is called periodic table. And all scientists, chemistry or physics, if they are talking about uh, periodic table or electrons, then they will use this to find, to discover a new element or a new compound. Okay, over here we, in the first topic, it's talk about negative ion and its benefit to human. So it's being benefit to human. We want to look at, I want to look at human body. Why so important that we have negative ion that is good for a human body. So our human body is made out of many parts, many parts, organ or whatever. It is made out of uh, muscles, bones, tissue, organ, many, many things that have given a name to it. But to look carefully inside, we want to talk about our body mass. Our body mass actually have 99%. It's made out of six elements, which is oxygen, hydro carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. And the other remainder, 0.85%, not even 1%, is composed of another five elements, which is uh, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium. Okay? And we, are, we also understand that our body has an internal organ called the liver, which is the biggest internal organ that we have, our body has. All right? And what is our external organ? Skin is called an external organ and it's the largest compared to the liver. It weighs about 8 pounds, 3.6 kilograms, and covering 22 square feet. All right? And it is the largest uh, organ that all human beings have. Okay? It's larger than the liver. So our human body is also comprised of uh, matters and energy. This energy is both electric, which is impulse and signal, and also chemical called reaction. Okay, so some similar to the plant, trees, plants, they are powered by photosynthesis that process the following uh, energy for them to live from sunlight. So human body is also organized in different level. First level is the cell, and then cell is organized into tissue, and then tissue to form organ. So our smaller part is a cell, okay? Not the tissue, not the organ. Organ is made out of many, many cells. And in here, the cell is actually the 11 elements that make, combine together, bomb together differently to give us life. Our blood is also uh, made out of liquid and solid, where the liquid is called the plasma. The solid is actually where it contains red blood cell, white blood cell, and pallet. So our skin is actually act as, as an external organ, which acts as a waterproofing insulation skill, guarding our body against extreme temperature, damaging sunlight, harmful chemical germs, bacteria, and also virus, okay? Our body, we also need to know that our body need to have a pH level. pH level means measuring measurement of acids in our body and alkaline in our body. We cannot be zero, which is totally acidic, or we cannot be too alkaline, all right, which is the maximum 14, because our human body cannot be totally alkaline, is in the stage or called slightly alkaline, with a pH level between 7.35 to 7.45. Our stomach is very acidic because you have to break down food. Okay, our body need to be alkaline, pH level, because our body have, if it's in alkaline, is a poor environment for cancer cell to build. So, 
Alkaline is actually the necessary to, re, to eliminate the probability of disease. So if we can reduce the inflammation, which is actually over acidic, our body will increase inflammation. And this inflammation will term as diseases like the heart, like the arthritis, the joint, or even cancer. All right, because if we are acidic, we are in the inflammatory states. And so we need to be, keep our body in, in alkaline stage, which is like taking alkaline food, forming food, alkaline forming food, or drink alkaline water. So in this chart, we call, I call it the pH charge. pH charge that in the center, which is seven in the middle. All right, this is the, uh, uh, an uh, area if we have 7 or 7.35 to 7.55, this is an optimum pH level that for our human blood. Okay? If we are somewhere 5 point something, actually our blood becomes too acidic and you create, you will burn cell. Cell will create, become more inflammatory. You will burn up. But if we are too alkaline, then we are also not in a good stage because most of our food that we eat is acidic. So when we, if our body cannot have too high alkaline and too high acidic, they will cause problem. So what, how can pH affect our body, our lungs? All right, if you have good blood pH passing through it, it actually helps the lungs to release carbon dioxide. For the stomach, it's usually acidic. And we have certain amount of uh, pH level of cell seven can help our blood regulate the blood to release carbon dioxide. Blood is actually controlled by the body, controlled by the body to have a pH level of 7.35 to 7.5, the ideal uh, pH level. Liver, or the liver is actually if it's alkaline, it helps us to clean our blood. Okay. And kidney is to, if it's alkaline, it helps the kidney to, to reduce the workload by uh, passing out the urine so that our pH level can be increased. Okay, intestine is always in the best working condition if, if it's pH level 7.35 to 7.45. And even if you have such a pH level, is able to stimulate beneficial probiotic. Okay. Okay, what is this picture that you see on top? Yeah, this it is actually uh, showing a metal pipes or metal piece of metal that is having rust. Okay. So over here when we see ORP, rust is actually S U. R U S T, but what you understand here is it means oxidizing reducing potential ORP. Oxidizing means to oxidize, to rust, to burn up, to break down. I mean, here is having oxidizing now the metal parts because it's rusting, and reducing means to give away, neutralize the oxidation. Reducing potential, the ability to donate energy to the body. Okay, if you're reducing potential, it has the ability to donate energy to the body. Okay, so there are two possibilities. If you have a, a positive charge, ORP, it means that the metal will rust, will oxidize, and will eventually broken down. But if the electrical, if there is an electrical charge that is negative, passing through this metal piece, it's actually energize the metal means the rust will not continue to grow and the metal may be, will not rust at all because it's something like an antioxidant. Okay, the negative charge, it become an antioxidant. So it don't have any rust at all. So if this metal, if you don't want the metal to rust is to pass the electric current charges, hopefully you can change the charges to negative or not just an electric charge because the electric charge there is positive charge also. So if you convert the electric charge to negative, 
in probability, this metal piece will not rust. Okay? But the thing is, over here, we need an electrical source to generate the negative ion, not to prevent this metal from rusting. Okay. ORP means oxidation reduction potential. This is actually a chart that shows that if we drink ionized water, we want to ionize it in a negative side, not a positive side. Okay? Or you take vitamin C or you take green tea. These are having a, a charge that is energy charge of negative signal. It's, it's come out, it turned out you measure is in a negative stage. Positive stage means there is oxidation. This thing will oxidize, will rust. So what do I mean further under ORD? Oh, under ORD, there is another term called oxidative stress. Over here on the, on the chart below, show that a normal cell, which is a cell, no problem, normally, good cell, all right? And if this cell itself is being attacked by free radical, the cell will die off, okay? Die off in the term we call cell with oxidative stress, I mean dying off already. Okay. This is another way to describe free radical. Okay, free radical is actually a scavenger, a scavenging of electrons. A healthy cell is actually have a very balanced electrons. Alright. And a free radical is something that is shortage of electrons. So when you have lost electrons, you need to steal from a good cell and electrons. But then if we are able to have antioxidants, antioxidants are those uh, atoms that have additional electrons. So having additional, it can give away its additional electron to a free radical. So in that way, there will not be any damage to a healthy cell because the free radical itself have enough electron. What does definition ROS stand for? ROS stand for reactive oxygen species or an antioxidants. In normal condition, our body cells are able to balance the production of oxidants and antioxidants. Oxidation stress will occur when there is an imbalance in our cell due to either an increase in free radical or a decrease in antioxidants. What is oxidative stress? It is also well known to be involved in the pathogenesis of life-related disease. Okay? Disease like cancer, high blood pressure, stroke, all this. So oxidative stress means our cell is damaged because of too much oxygen free radical attacking biological molecules such as lipids, protein, and DNA. Okay, but however, we there is a need of oxidative stress. All right, because it allow a regulation of inter intracellular signal transduction. Okay, this it means that uh, physically. Our body, there is a ch changes. Okay, we have good cell, then it get old and die off, and then we need to replace the cell with a new young cell. Okay, this intracellular signal. Okay, similar to that explanation. So oxidative stress is also defined as a state where oxidative stress force exceeded the antioxidant system due to imbalance between them. So, oxidative stress will link to about more than 200 chronic disease of aging. So, there is an aging of skin, blood, which is like clock, brain. We may have Parkinson, all right, or eyes. We have a cataract, heart. We may have heart blood pressure, heart attack. Immune system, there is inflammation in the immune system, joint. Your bone will degenerate because loss of uh, calcium, kidney, you have kidney disease, 
lung swimmer has asthma, lung cancer, or allergy. And there is another called multi organ, which is something like diabetics, aging, chronic fatigue syndromes, etc. So that uh, oxidative stress will consider a, it will make our body more towards the acidic format. Right, so they will have more sickness if we do not keep our body towards the alkaline stage. So now look at this body oxidative stress. Take for example a healthy tomato. If you do not keep it in the fridge or leave it outside in the atmosphere, there is a probability that the the tomato first will be being attacked by free radical from the surrounding where it was placed, and it's not if you, we do not realize that it's going to spoil the tomato and continue leave it there and you will have oxidative stress which is in the end result is this tomato is already damaged same for a normal cell a normal cell if we have not enough negative ion not enough electron for the free radical to steal then the cell will be in oxidative stress which is going to die off so again, I want to use the free radical as a scavenger. So you can see a healthy atoms also means a healthy tomato, fresh and nice. And then there is free radical is always there, starting to attack or steal the electron from the healthy atoms. Okay, and then there is also an uh, atoms called antioxidant, which is having extra electrons that's ready to give away this electron to a free radical where there will not be any damage. So for fruits that is do not decay, we can apply some uh, prevention, which is called antioxidants, that it will not cause the red tomato to go damaged. So free radical and aging. So some people will say that, oh, when I'm reached 30, I'm, I may have looked like of age 40 because of aging or some people in the age of 50 may look more like 30 years old so why because if this person do not maintain or keep himself look younger by applying cosmetic or applying some serum which is something like antioxidant to the skin so the red color cross positive charge is called proton and the negative charge is called electron under normal condition, cell having able to share among its electron to maintain stability is <coughs> shown here, share of electron between two identical cells. But then if these two identical cells, there are additional energy created in the cell, it may be either you split its cell up, having unpaired electrons, and having unpaired electrons, it means the molecules are derived or being steal electrons from it and set up a chain reaction of for freedom of free radical. In order to stop additional free radical occurring in our body, we need an antioxidant. We have um, more electron to share so that it can neutralize the free radical and also eliminate chain reaction in the end. If two uh, electrons or one electron is trying to break up any other to become a free radical atoms. So which part of our body actually generate the immune system so that we are our body are not able to withstand this attack from free radical, harmful sunlight, UV light, or even virus and germs. These are all the items that shown here is part of the immune system. Okay, the skin, underneath the skin, there are an immune system. There are cells that help we call immune system to keep our body in good shape and good health. Okay, what is an immune system? An immune system is actually a complex ne a network of cells, tissue and organize organs that work together to defend against germs. It also helps to recognize that this foreign 
invader that last time have uh, attacked the body before. And so you recognize it and you start to generate um, antioxidants to fight against this inv invader if it's ever entered the body again. And what is the immune system and its function? The immune system is actually a network of cell and protein that defend the body against infection. And the immune system will keep a record of all, uh, all, the, all, the, all the germ, bacteria, virus that is ever defeated so that it can recognize and destroy the microbe quickly if it's entered the body again. The role of the immune system is to collect it's a collection of structure and processes within the body. It is to protect against disease and other potential damage foreign party. So in this following uh, picture, what do you see? You see there are bacteria, there are virus, there are fungus, there are toxin, there are parasites, there are parogen. Okay, all these are attacking our body at the skin area of um, Every day, every day you start attacking 24 7, you have not stopped attacking. Okay, so in if an immune system is being attacked, what happens? The foreign particle, when you enter the cell, you will start releasing some protein, foreign protein that is not similar to the human body. Okay, and if our immune system recognizes that there is a foreign substance that attacking the body, you will release antibody to the, by the immune system to fight against all these foreign substances. Antibody have receptor on their cell membrane that, and recognize and blind to the allergen. Okay, similar from this picture, we can see that the T, in short, T cell will identify of its own healthy cell, which is the healthy cell here with a receptor. They will hold hand and they will talk to each other, all right? And sometimes the receptor will transfer the healthy cell into itself, embrace it. And from there, T cell will, build, will inform the B cell within them to multiply itself with antibody, okay? To attack the virus. And in our body, there is another cell called natural killer cell. Okay, this natural killer cell will start attacking the infected cell together with the antibody from the B cell. But the, the natural killer cell is naturally by itself is a bad guy. They start killing the bad cell and also at the same time killing the good cell. So because of this, uh, we need to make sure that our body, our natural killer cell are to its minimum that do its best job. Okay. There are possibly seven ways that we can harm our immune system. First is stress and anxiety. If you stress and feel anxiety, actually we decrease the antibody. We increase the free radical. Okay, alcohol is the same, but this is uh, from an external into our body. Okay, and it's actually alcohol. It burns our body, it burns our lungs, it burns our airway. If we have stress and anxiety and drink alcohol, definitely we will feel lack of sleep. Because if we lack of sleep, our immune system also be weakened. Unhealthy diet, anyhow eat or every day need to eat in McDonald's or Kentucky or Long John Silver. All right, it's something called unhealthy diet. Okay, if you do not drink enough water, we have the possibility of dehydration. So it's also affect our immune system. The lack of exercise cannot strengthen our body, cannot improve or strengthen their immune system. Smoking. Smoking, the size is PM2.5. So in order to make sure that our, our smoke, our dust particle do not embrace itself into a cell. So then he will start stealing electrons from the cell. Immune system response. Okay, whenever there is an infection, a cell infected, there is this uh, cell you call micropage. It's something like a sea cucumber who go around the seabed to eat up all those affected cells. And from there, the, affected, the 
Micropage will go and inform the T cell that there is a, a infected cell that need your help. So the T cell will go back and inform the B cell to generate uh, an antibody to fight against that uh, cell that is being defeated. So over here, you have another picture. We see the micropage grab the germ and show the germ, the antibody to the T cell. And then from the T cell, it show the antigen to B cell. B cell will tell to make copies of cell to, to, to eliminate a disease ambition. Once, and then the B cell will generate antibody to attack the antibody that the germs make for deduction. And at the same time, the natural killer cell will function its place to destroy and kill the viruses. Okay. Over here, when we talk about virus on the last statement, I also want to show you or keep you understand about our virus. Okay, uh, COVID-19 or SARS, the, com the virus is such a small size and simple composition that can multiply only on living cell of animal, plant, and bacteria. Okay, the virus are application parasites that are metabolically insert when they are outside their host. So if it's inside our host and it attach itself to a cell, okay, you will definitely multiply. Okay, and then we need more immune system to fight against the diseases. All right, the disease we set, we see are due to affection of this interaction between virus and its whole cell. Okay, over here we can see there's an influential virus. First on the left, number one, they attach itself to the uh, cell and then slowly it dig in into the cell. Once it penetrate the cell, it will be inside, it's outer, the outer cell, shell, of the viral virus will start to give way and explode. Once it's exploded, two, all the vitamin, all the protein from the affected virus will cover the whole cell and start to develop cell. Okay, and anything that's big enough as a poor uh, influential virus, some of them will go immaturely and will leave the cell eventually. So this is a virus. There are some spike protein and some membrane protein. And also there's an envelope protein. Okay. And inside the, uh, the virus itself is something like a spring. These are protein that will be is different from a healthy cell of a, being, a human being. If it's not the same, this uh, protein from inside the virus will try to attach itself and grow. If not, it will not be able to survive long within our body. So up to here, we learn about um, PM 2.5. What is the size of PM 2.5? Then we learn about the smallest uh, atom than PM 2.5 element like oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, forest, calcium, all this. So these are the things that we learn. We learn our body must be alkaline stage. We learn that our body must have a good pH level so that we will not fall into the uh, category of sickness because we do not build up our immune system and also unable to protect us from uh, anti-aging stage. Okay, Nefu. Singapore is a negative ion clothing that supply high technology endlessly negative ion in the clothing. These are not packed, negative ion are not, don't need electrical charge to operate. There's no, there's no need to make sure that we need to do much. We just only have to change our clothing with a different brand, all right, so that we can gain good health in wearing a clothing. Okay, Nefu are a company that commit 
to promote awareness of health among harmful environment nowadays. The environment nowadays are radiation, they are PM 2.5 and the food that we eat around us that we consume every day. And because of this, are we going to take, out, take care of our own health first right now or we want to wait? Okay, for a good and healthy person, he still need to wear negative ion clothing because it will provide him 24 hours of protection every day. Okay, protect our skin from being attacked by all the foreign uh, attack of free radical and sunlight and damaged sunlight. For those un uh, unhealthy people, all right, negative ion clothing is proven for its effectiveness in training, in treating fatigue, hypertension, asthma, cancer, and other disease. So it's best to put on negative ion clothing, basically to prevent pathological changes. And for those who are recovering, it's also still need a further uh, increase, not decrease of negative ion. So we cannot have our viral will not have enough negative ion to, in order for us to cell heal or to strengthen immunity. Okay, what is this word poly, polyvin chloride? It's written there in short PVC. If you do not know what is PVC, a simple way to understand is actually the electrical charges in your home. All right, but in its formula, a periodic formula we can see is C2H3Cl, all right, and in within a bracket and to a number of ends. So, this is what is the PVC chemical structure bondage. There's three hydrogen, two bond to a carbon, and the other bond and equal to a carbon and bond with a hydrogen and then a chlorine. Okay, NAFU negative ion clothing. The basic rules is that use the PVC, raw PVC, together with chlorine. Okay, here we see chlorine in the formula, but this chlorine is actually where it makes PVC. But now I have to tell you is the PVC here is raw form and mixed additionally with chlorine. Why? Because chlorine has 17 electrons. Over here, the PVC, there is electrons, but this PVC itself, the electron is not enough to produce endless negative ion whilst during friction within its body. So this PVC is raw, is added to chlorine for a certain period of time to generate the fabric fiber out from it. So if you look at C, C is carbon. Carbon is actually, there are six atoms, which is uh, still not stable because there are shortage of electrons in the carbon because six, you know, the first ring is two, the second ring is left only two, four, six, all right? So to stabilize the carbon must combine with oxygen no, with hydrogen and it also can occupy with night uh, with chlorine having 17 electrons okay because all our clothing nowadays are made up of polyvinyl chloride if you can see from the label the fax figure of a clothing usually this clothing made from pvc are fast dry clothing Okay, let's look at our body again. Our body, must, the blood must be slightly alkaline because when toxin disrupt the acid to alkaline balance, we become skeptical to disease. So the negative ion clothing provide a negative ion necessary to restore the blood ideally and also slightly alkaline stage in which disease cannot flourish. For so to, and also it reinstate the body cell healing ability. That means if we have enough negative ion surrounding our body or inside our body, you have, a, have the ability to cell heal. We make our body more healthy 
and we will not be have any pigmentation. All right. If the body is too acidic, it will weaken the immune system. All right. Immune system is will be weakened if it's too acidic, and also prevent nurture free radical, which is the main ingredient in all degenerative stress. Okay, over here we have two atoms, one having three atoms, the other having seven atoms. So the three atoms is not stable. So in order to stable itself, the three, three electron atoms have to give away one to the electron that is becoming more like small stable molecules. Okay. So having to know negative ion is a movement of electron or flow of electron in our body. So we need to know what other benefit it can have. Negative ion, if it's for blood pressure, it normalizes the blood. For breathing issue, it actually smooths our breathing uh, cell and our nose of a function. If fatigue relief, that means when we are tired, we saturate our body with negative ion, we actually become less fatigued. Strong bone, because negative ion can help us to regenerate our cell. Bone cell, calcium is a cell. So you need to have negative ion to regenerate, rejuvenate our cell, our dead cell, or our good, or have more good cell, so that our bone uh, cell is stronger. Our blood vessel also may not block because of negative ion and easy heartbeat. That means we will have tendency not to have cancer or stroke or high blood pressure. Okay. Over here we have we will I will show you the four main features of our nephew negative ion fiber, which now term called neuron. Neuron have a feature that is called superheat insulation because nephew negative ion fiber are able to have low heat conductivity. That means it won't burn out. All right, it's excellent heat insulation because it prevents loss of body heat for consistent temperature. Okay, and then it is very superior moisture permeability because. All the fiber that we have, we know, are uh, ability to trap water in its fiber. And this water in the fiber are being evaporated through our body heat. If our body heat is used to result in is dispersed, it means the body heat is being absorbed by the sweating from our body. It will cause our body to feel cold not warm, our body is already warm, all right? And fiber, neuron fiber does not absorb water, okay? Nephew, ne negative ion clothing fiber does not absorb water. And dry quickly, it means it cannot absorb water, it become it dry, wet, and then you need to dry fast. And this function is there, this feature is there. It dry up very fast, even when the whole piece of uh, uh, fabric is wet. So if our skin will feel dry, we will feel comfortable. Next is excellent frame retardancy. Neuron, nephew, negative ion coding, ion fabric, have the ability not to spread the fire. All right, so if you are not able to spread fire, no fire can burn on the material that negative ion, uh, new, nephew have, okay? The last but not least is the negative ion technology. Neuron allow the fiber to generate negative ion without fail and is massive and is every day. There's no time limit every day as long as there's a friction between the fiber and the skin or friction between two fiber, one neuron and one other material. This neuron material always have more and high density negative ion. Let's look deeper into heat, super heat insulation. Over here, we have a, a hand, a person hand, arm there is being tested with five other fabric 
material. One is neuron, one is wool, one is nylon, one is acrylic, and one is cotton. All right. So each uh, wrap will wrap around the hand and test it for a period of time. So on the next chart is a table. We show that the five material are uh, under minus five degree temperature, room temperature under minus five degree temperature at the horizontal reading, where the vertical reading show the skin temperature different. Okay, it's starting the room temperature is start from 25 to minus five. And for the skin temperature is measured at zero to one or even two. Okay, and all result turn out that under minus five degrees Celsius, the neuron will keep our body temperature warm, not cold, all right, constantly. And the skin temperature will only maintain or keep at 0 0.5 degree for the neuron and the rest are even further. So it cannot keep warm under, if you are not using full negative ion clothing, we are not protected of our temperature. So we are feel cold and we will fall sick. So what is superior moisture permeability? So in here, we have a test of a cotton and a neuron fabric. And when it starts, the two cloths are placed inside the colored uh, beaker. All right, and after 10 minutes of uh, soaking, the cotton actually absorb most of the liquid color water in it, but the neuron is always keep dry. No absorption of water. And this keep dry make our body feel very comfortable, even in a hot weather or in a cold room. So under the excellent fire redundancy, any material having a limited, limited, limiting oxygen index of higher than 26, all right, is considered as a fire retardant material. So this uh, neuro, uh, negative ion blanket, which are talking about, have the index of 30.5, so it's not able to burn. So even if you start to burn this material, the fire will not spread. It will always stay in between where the heat is until the heat source is gone. And because of a NAFU negative ion blanket, the Japan Indust uh, Disaster Prevention Association award NAFU uh, blanket with, a, with this sign called Fire Retardant Product by Japan. So the last negative ion technology, if two material are rubbed together, as sample wool and nylon up together, nylon will always be in the negative stage and wool will be in the positive stage. If it's a uh, cotton who rub with a uh, neuron, neuron is always negative, where else the cotton is turned to positive in this chart. So having understanding the four feature of a uh, nephew negative ion fabric, now we come to another four wellness benefit of using negative ion. It first, it purifies blood and improves blood circulation. Okay, how? Okay, let's look at this chart here. Red blood cell, when exposed to negative ion, the red blood cell will separate itself out and not the one that showed before using negative ion. Okay, and negative ion also have the ability to level our pH level to between 7.35 to 7.45, all right? And uh, in this book, Forever Young and Beautiful, written by Dr. Yami Masa Yasnasika, all right? He also do a research that those people who do not use negative ion will, not, will find that their pH level will not go towards the healthy stage, which is 7.35 to 7.45. If those people who, after wearing negative ion clothing for more than 24 hours, we have shown the chart that all these uh, people who wear negative ion have their pH level towards the healthy zone. Next, second, is it keep healthy cell and increase cell activity. And the break packet is called cell metabolism. 
Okay, it is this word metabolism. And some people will not grow fat because the, meta, the metabolism in their body is very active. Where else most of us, 80 to 90% of men and women, they will go fatter and fatter because their cell metabolism are not active. So if we use a negative ion, the negative ion will help the cell to facilitate wave removal and nutrient absorption. So if we can able to do that 100% absorption, 100% re removal, our cell will become versatile and healthy, like this chart show. The first cell, unhealthy cell on the left, it shows that nutrients are not absorbed fully, not 100%. Many are wasted and the waste remain in the cell. So this cell become less healthier, not healthy cell. For a healthy cells, the membrane of the cell will be able to absorb nutrients 100% and also 100% waste product, wave removal product, uh, waste remover 100%. So this cell will have uh, cell metabolism. And this is what it helped me to reduce my weight in a very short period of time. You have a more negative ion because my metabolism uh, wake up. So I'm able to reduce the weight. Of course, you can't see the difference between now, if you have the picture, have my picture before and after I used negative ion for this past five years. Okay, the next one is that it boosts our immune system, which protect our body. Okay, just now we talked about uh, T cell, B cell, and natural killer cell. Okay, our body will have the natural killer cell, but this natural killer cell we want to maintain at a minimum because this cell is professional killer. He don't care you're good or it's bad. You start killing the first the bad cell. If there's no bad cell, you also will kill the good cell. All right? Because uh, negative ion, if loaded with uh, high density of negative ion in the environment, it will help our body to be more alert and you help our brain to think better, to have a clear picture what we are. And you help us to, sometimes for eyes, is see properly. And if there's a migraine, you're able to help us to reduce the migraine or even improve it. So over here, a small text, they say natural killer cell are a type of white blood cell and a component of inner immune system. This one will damage immune system if you have too much of natural killer cell, All right? So the last uh, wellness is that it balance our system and improve areas such as sleep and hormone. If we, I'm able to sleep well because when I go to rest, I actually saturate my body with, ne uh, with negative ion. How? By wearing layering of my uh, clothing, I have a blanket and a bed sheet that is of nephew, having the highest density, and I cover my head with a sleeping hat. And my face, a face, full face mask and a neck supporter. I wear socks to sleep, I wear glove to sleep. All right, it's like I'm, you can only see my nostril, but not my face. I'm like a mummy. Because of this uh, ability of this uh, high saturation of negative ion, I'm able to have good quality of sleep. The quality of sleep is not the quality that most of us understand. This is really a quality of sleep. We are not, I'm not sound asleep that I don't even wake up, but I sleep so that my body can uh, recover from all the day work in the morning and in the afternoon. So when I wake up the next day after uh, this high density of saturation of negative ion, I able to lose weight and I able to be very active the next day without having to feel tired at all. Okay. And negative ion are able to increase our alpha brain, our brain wave, to tell, uh, to control, to manage our nervous, system, our emotional system to our active system or active system to our emotional system, okay? So this is a picture that shows that our body have a lot of uh, signal 
link with each other, like our eyes, our heart, our lungs, our stomach, uh, so that when, if you have a good stomach, we, this signal will tell when we eat food, it go to our brain, it go to our mouth first, and the tongue go to our tongue, then we eat in swallow to the stomach, and the stomach start to uh, absorb the nutrients or uh, either 100% or 50%, this is go back to the brain cell. So our brain also signal that we are full, or we don't need to continue to eat. So these are the system that our body has. Okay, we, we can learn more from this because one side is a systematic automotic pathway, the other is a parasympathetic automotic pathway. There's one is, if I now I look at you, look at the screen here, and look at you, I can move my left hand or move my right hand. These are all automatic. These are systems that our body has. All right, it can manage it correctly and there is no delay. But if a person like aging, if there's not enough negative ion, we are not able to do this movement automatically. We are doing it in a very slow or maybe there's a delay in our action. Okay, uh, where can we find, uh, or where can we have negative, a uh, high density of negative ion? Okay, over here, we want to know first is uh, one cubic centimeter of negative ion in the air, how does it benefit? If we can have anything more than 5,000 to 50,000, this is where we can strengthen and in, enhance our immune system. If we can have 50 to 100,000, our immune system are able to kill germs, deauthorization or detoxification. If we have um, 100,000 to 500,000 of negative ion per one cubic centimeter, our body will start to have that natural healing power or improve and improve chronic condition. At present moment in this uh, environment that we live in, housing board, house, a uh, uh, cement house, we actually is below 50, below 50 or 50. Actually, our body induce physiological malfunction. Slowly, we start to feel pain, feel weak, and we thought that this is a natural way of aging. But in actual fact, it's not. All right. So the place where we can find high density of uh, negative ion is actually the mountain and the seaside or the natural waterfall. Okay. But mountain, Singapore, we don't have mountain. Our highest mountain is Mount Faber. And it's not high at all. It's not called mountain, but we call it mountain. It's only a hill. And we don't have natural waterfall. All right. The waterfall that we have is actually presently, presently still at is uh, Jurong Park. All right. But it's not natural. It's a uh, artificial man-made. So how much negative ion you have, it does not tally to what we see here, which is called 50,000 negative ion. So we're still short of negative ion here. The highest we get is only mountain and seaside, but we can, we can move there. Do we have here in Singapore? No. So we need to travel. We don't need a lot of time to travel to there, to get there, and just spend one day there and we come back, we spend 10 days. So actually we are 10 is to one, shortage of 9%. So for that reason, we can only have negative ion if we use negative ion clothing from NEFU because NEFU is a company that produces a high density of negative ion on our clothing. Okay? So how do we use it effectively? We use it in high density, hopefully many layers because more layers we rub this material is always negative ion. We have, must have long duration, you got to wear it for 24 7 and must be direct to our skin. Because any signal or impulse from our skin, that means from a heartbeat to the skin, can feel our heartbeat, that means it's vibration. This vibration causes friction between the fabric that we have, negative ion fabric, and our skin. And you can have negative ion into our body through the acupuncture point. All right, there are 500 over acupuncture point, but only 360 that is which neither can book through, and this is negative ion can go through that area. All right, and we need to use full set. 
that is custom to our own use, full set custom to our own use. All right, because we have big size and small size and tall and short. So the clothing have large and medium and big, but some people have a, a bigger size body that you need to custom to your own use because we want to utilize the 100% negative ion from the clothing. Because negative ion cannot travel very far away. You need to travel about six centimeter away from our body. Because after six centimeter, the negative ion will be changed to positive because more positive in this environment than negative ion. Okay, we need to wash it because uh, if all the surrounding are positive ion, it will get attracted to our fabric. And if it's too many, it will conceal the ability to generate negative ion from the fabric. So that's why we need to wash it daily with the nephew detergent because this is a research and development in order to know that by using this detergent, we are able to clean the fabric thoroughly and recharge up the negative ion to do its most optimum function. Okay. All right, over here, there's a disclaimer that the negative ion clothing cannot replace our medical treatment. And all those negative ion clothing and bathing is mainly for improvement elevation, reduction, and support of health element. Okay, if talking about prevention, it's better than cure. We don't want to wait for anything happen to us, our body. For example, if when we don't see a doctor, and when we see a doctor, the doctor if tell you you have cancer. It does not mean that the day you see a doctor, the day you got cancer. It was because before that, our body start to develop cancer cell in our body. So we want to prevent this, we have to start using the clothing. All right? But this clothing, we, if there is a need to see a doctor, okay, we need to follow the doctor advice. Okay? The testimony cases that you read, there's a reduction or stoppage of medication, is actually basically refer to the doctor's advice. I mean, the doctor say there is a re, you need to reduce, you reduce. If the doctor say you need to increase, you follow the doctor advice, but at the same time, you wear the clothing. Okay, this will help to reduce the consumption of medication from the doctor in time to come. All right, any content of the testimonial should not replace the professional diagnosis of a doctor. Okay, you must base on the doctor advice because this is not a medicine. This is not anything, it's just a clothing, a clothing that only generate negative ion. Okay, who is uh, NAFU? NAFU is actually started and formed in Japan in 1972. So if it's based on present time, is 47 years of history that negative ion is being invented and tested in Japan. No other country able to produce a product that don't need an electrical source or any source to generate negative ion. It's only in NEFU, all right? And NEFU can only set up overseas country, only starting from 1989 in Taiwan, in, 2020, in 2002 in USA, 2005 in Hong Kong, 2006 in Malaysia, 2010 in Singapore. And in 2014, NEFU International then formed as an international global company. All right. So based on Taiwan, NEFU have already, if start from Taiwan to go to other country, it's only, it's already 31 year. Okay. So uh, earlier part that NEFU also provide all its member, all right, a possibility to do a global business, a NEFU global business, is through this compensation plan. Okay, this compensation plan is simple and profitable, right? This compensation, this uh, plan that allow that all members, those who want to know NEFU or be a part of NEFU membership, is a lifetime membership. 
that is only required in Singapore, you only need to pay $70 lifetime. There's no need for renewal at all. And there is no need for you to, for us to purchase anything in the beginning. Because as a lifetime membership, $70, the company uh, allow us to go and do a global distributor. If we, are, we are a global distributor. All right, we represent NAFU. And with this, as a global distributor, we have, are given a starter kit. And inside the starter kit, you will find a product catalog, all right? And two pieces of a blanket and a bed sheet, a free sample of it. This is 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter, right? This blanket and bed sheet actually both are at cost of $250 to, $200, to $300, all right? Depending on the, uh, when you sign as a member because the blanket have increased cost because there's tax on the actual blanket and the bed sheet, all right? But you got it free in this uh, as a distributor or as a member, lifetime membership, you get these two blanket, two piece sample, which is very useful, all right? And together, there is also a given a travel detergent in the distributorship, and we also get a lifetime discount of 20%. Okay, so when we first become a member with $70 in the company, is recognize us as a consultant. We will get 20% discount in all the country there's offices. Office there is Hong Kong, Malaysia, Taiwan, and USA, and Singapore. Okay, so we can go to any of the country and buy any product if you want. All right, we will get 20% discount. And this company, Nefu, the system will allow us only promotion, no demotion. So if you found that this, after using the two sample blanket and you think that you want to show, talk to your friends and want your friends to come and share and share the benefit that you have. So you can introduce them to you and you have uh, friends that they combine their sales to $6,925, you will be promoted as a manager. As a manager, you get still get 20% discount as what you have, a lifetime 20% discount. But as a manager, the company will give you a bonus of 10%. So you, in actual fact, a whole total, you will get a 30%. In any product that you buy, you get 30% as a manager, all right? And then again, we say that we are only promotion and no demotion. The fourth one, we are low risk because there's no requirement for us to buy initially. You have already two pieces of sample blanket and bed sheet, which is called 270, but you only pay $70 for a global distributorship. You know, to start a business, you need a big capital, but to in NEFU, you start a business with only $70. You can start small without buying any product. You use this thing, follow the instruction as what you do, all right, and use the blanket. But of course, this is like an apple. If, if an apple, you do not eat an apple, you do not damage the skin, the, the fruits in the apple, the fresh in the apple will still be a fresh apple. But if you cut away the skin, then the apple will oxidize itself and you will you are not able to eat it okay because it turned brown so if you want to know more and get more benefit from the negative ion you can buy it because the product have no risk very low risk doing a business with seventy dollars is also a no low risk the product is works definitely works because it work on me okay and as a member Lifetime member, you also enjoy a global linkage. You go to Malaysia, if you are a, mem is a manager, you still get an title of 20% and 10% bonus in Malaysia, all right? And in 
Hong Kong or Taiwan or US, you are still a manager. Okay, so it's a, it's a global linkage and you have no risk. Because everybody like to need to wear clothing, right? Can you don't wear clothing to work or step out of a house? So what risk do you have? No risk, it's only a change of brand of clothing that we are wearing now. So if you are a manager and a friend that come in saw you are a manager, you are enjoying the extra 10% bonus, they also want to have. So they, they will come to approach and ask you how to become a manager. So you teach them whatever you learn from NEFU company. Because NEFU company provide training for us to be, know how to become a manager or how to become the next level uh, after a manager. So you teach them and both of them, if two percent of them uh, have a group sales in their group, have a group sales of $27,700 and two of them promote to a manager, you will be promoted to the next area manager. All right, having 25% discount, no, even 20% discount and 25 bonus, 25% bonus to you. So your total, you have 45%. And these two person, when they saw your area manager enjoying such a, a discount a percentage, they also won. So you teach them how to, to gain to be an area manager, all right? And you will be automatic promote to area manager, senior area manager, in short, AM+. plus. So we already show you here, there's no way you will be able to from senior to area or drop back to manager. No, you still remain to where you are. If example now you are in a senior area manager position, you enjoy 20% discount given to you as what a member will be. And additional, you have 30% bonus, which total 50%. If you at this level, you do not want to continue with the business, all right, you still remain as an area manager. But you cannot forget that your people that under you also want to be an area, area, senior area manager. All right, they will go and do their work and you just sit down there and wait. If they can accumulate a certain amount of sales, they will promote AM depending on how many AM is going to promote it. If only two, you will remain as senior area manager. If you have five, area manager under your direct line, all right? You will likely go, you will likely want to go to the next level, which is area general manager, all right? Because as an area general manager, you look at the item number six, area general manager and anyone above can able to pass your position as an area manager to your children. That means if your children are in the legal age to do to do a business or to work. You can, you, and you want to retire, you can pass just your area manager position to them and they will be immediately in a position of area manager and earn the same amount of income as you do. All right, this is called legacy. Okay, and as an area manager, you will still entitle all the uh, benefit from senior area manager in now including a 2.5 limited line. That means how many below you, you are able to get 2.5% from NAFU. And then if you want to go to the next highest level now presently have, it's called NET. This is a position like a CFO or CEO, all right, in a company. This NET, you are actually having the same uh, bonus and income as an area general manager, but additionally yearly bonus you will get from global, 0.5% uh, share among all NET. Presently in the world, there's only seven NET. Okay, if you are able to work towards an NET, then Singapore will have additional NET other than the present three NET we have in the company. Okay, I come to my last slide of my presentation. So um, when, we, uh, when you have go through this video, are you able to list out three takeaway in this video that I've, been, I've done? And then um, 
that's where I end my presentation here. But before we end here, Before we, I end my whole my this session, uh, because of the understanding of Nefu fabric, the fourth feature, all right, and Nefu do not come with mau mask, do not have mau mask. So all the member are going through all the product that we have, we realize that there is some product that we can use it to make into mau mask because this is the the mouth and the nose is the fifteen percent that we need to protect or prevent virus and uh, dust and PM 2.5 or germs or bacteria into our body, all right? So we use this material, they're having a negative ion and act also as a mouth mask. So the interior, we can use the two-sided, we can use, so we can use whatever side it is to make into a mouth mask. They have an additional feature other than the normal mouth mask that we know of, that is only to block. This is not to block virus, it's not just block, it actually remove the virus before it allowed to enter our mouth. All right, it's a neutralize the virus or the germs or the bacteria before it goes into the mouth or it cannot even go to our mouth. We only want negative ion to come into our body. So we actually help our immune system here, our throat, our tonsil, our mouth here, our nose here, this immune system need to protect this area. So if you want to know more about uh, NAFU negative ion clothing that I'm using and help me in my health, you know where to get me. Uh, you can keep in touch with me. I can show you, I can share with you more uh, in all the area that I have gained health on. The benefit that I get is uh, priceless because our body is priceless. We only have one body and uh, I not means I will live very long. I live up to 80s, but I have no, I, I should not have all the uh, medical problems that affect me in my older age. That I also have all the energy and I can still earn an income through sharing with all, this, with all of you here, which is my friends, uh, my uh, close friends of my family members. Okay, if not, I want to end here and I say bye-bye to you. See you the next time in my next video recording. Bye.